Ram fans, let's uh, take a look at the very first running play against Cleveland um, last Saturday night. Particularly, we're going to look at Roger Saffold. Um, I know the offensive line struggled a lot last week, but nobody was really at their natural positions or the positions that is uh, defined as being where they're going to be through the regular season. Last Saturday night, we saw that. And, and this was the very first running play by the projected starting offensive line. So it's very interesting to watch this and just to see how they perform, particularly Saffold being at left tackle. Now, in this play, this is basically a, a runoff left tackle where the Rams are going to try to get a seam right up through here off left tackle. Uh, and it's also going to be a fake end around, which is a really cool play because what it's going to try to do is pull defensive back uh, Eric right here to get him to bite and pull him out of the play. Okay? So the first thing I want you to look at is A.J. Feely and how well he, he executes this fake end around. I'm going to let it play just a little bit here. You can see he, he plays it perfectly, and Eric Wright is already running out of the play. Uh, by the time Eric Wright realizes it was a handoff, you know, Jackson is going to be well beyond the line of scrimmage and kind of took Wright totally out of the play at that point. So I'm just going to let this play in, in its entirety here and then rewind it. You can see that uh, Jackson got a nice 11-yard gain there. So with Wright out of the, out of the play... Uh, A.J. Feely did his job, and so didn't Burton. Burton did a great job by selling it as well. Or, excuse me, Avery did a great job by selling it as well. Um, let's take a look at Saffold now. This is the real key I wanted to key on this video. Um, now, what what Saffold needs to do on this play, and what his job is, is to, is to make sure that the left guard has a defensive end in check here. Because the Rams are trying to create a seam here, so they want to get a big push this way, and they want the tight end to take care of the, of the, uh, of the linebacker that's up on the line here. So, so typically what we need to do, or what the, what the Saffold needs to do, is to make sure there's a chip here. And then what, I, what I've seen in a lot of rookie tackles is they'll either stay too long on this chip and, and not break off to the second level because it's really about uh, recognition. You need to recognize and get the timing right to know that, okay, the defensive end's out of the play. Now, you know, now I can jump to the second level. And a lot of rookie tackles will either stay too long on the chip or they won't even go to the second level at all uh, because the speed of the game, you always hear about that, the speed of the game, the speed of the game. It takes a lot of recognition and instinct to know that, you know, hey, it's time to go to that second level. Now, how well did Saffold do? Let's take a look. Here's Saffold right here. Okay, there's a perfect job to get the chip and get the seam. Now, what's he do after this point, okay? How soon does he drop to the second level? His timing was perfect. He immediately recognizes that the left, that the right uh, defensive end is out of the play, and he immediately goes to the second level to pick up the linebacker. If he doesn't do that, that linebacker has a clear shot on Jackson for maybe a two-yard gain. So you can see, picks up the linebacker, totally gets him out of the play. Now look, even comes back and tries to pick up somebody else to keep him pushed out of the play. And does he stop there? Now take a look at that. He turns around after he, he recognizes that Jackson has totally cleared these guys. Comes back around and still wants, wants a piece of some action, pushing Jackson through the hole. Now that has me really excited. I mean, that, that showed me that Roger Saffold was one heck of a pickup by the St. Louis Rams. So I hope that uh, that could help you take a look at the performance of the offensive line uh, in Saturday's game and uh, hope that you're as excited as I am to see how they're going to play uh, this coming uh, Thursday against the Patriots. And I'll just end this by letting it run in its entirety one more time. We'll see you on Thursday.